On the rounds of Breakfast TV, the Prime Minister is playing down negative gearing changes, but not ruling it out. Well, when it has been looked at, Nat, it's been shown that it won't assist supply. Yesterday, Anthony Albanese left possible changes to the tax system dangling. Following reports in nine newspapers, the government has asked Treasury to investigate. I want a public service that is full of ideas. 24 hours later, the idea was less appealing. The figures and research that uh, has been produced by organisations like the Property Council indicate that it would reduce supply and therefore uh, not contribute to solving the issue. Depending on which media interview he's doing, it changes his story. The Property Council research is from 2019 and shows restricting the number of negatively geared properties would reduce house prices by more than 4% nationally, but also result in fewer new homes being built. Housing commencements would decrease by 4.1%. That would outweigh any change to demand. The government's messaging has hallmarks of its about face on a promise not to change stage three tax cuts. Denial in December. We've made no, no uh, decisions uh, along those lines. We're not reconsidering. By January, the mood had shifted. When economic circumstances change, the right thing to do is to change economic policy. Perhaps in the next two months they're going to have to come to us with a model to phase out negative gearing and the capital gains tax discount. The Prime Minister has faced two days of questions on negative gearing and hasn't been able to offer much in the way of answers. Tomorrow he'll try to shift the attention back to supermarkets and release the consumer watchdog's interim report into claims of price gouging. Isabel Rowe, ABC News, Canberra.